Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I got my new Berkey filters in. The Black Berkey purification elements. Um, and I went ahead and put them in my purification system last night and added water to it. It's already filtered the water through. So, um, another thing I did is I purchased one of these espresso makers and so I've got the uh, BRS I don't know if you can read that through there or not it says BRS that's the uh, stove and um, the Primus power canister for it it won't work on the other canister for some reason but anyway this is how tiny this little stove is it's inside of a medicine bottle in a bag and uh, it's pretty neat little stove it's titanium it's got uh, ridges there to create a turbo effect and it just screws right on there so I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over well maybe not entirely gotta get them all up the same height before I can flip completely over because one will block the other <laughs> okay so I've got those all flipped over and this is my coffee maker espresso maker sits on there perfectly so let's get this screwed on to the canister make sure that valve is closed I don't like gas leaking all over the house okay that's on the canister yep it's got gas coming out of it now here's the problem with the BRS it doesn't have an igniter at all you gotta light it with a a lighter or a match or a ferro rod or something like that anyway let's get our water take the filter out set it down, and it says not to fill it above this little overflow here this it, it's actually a pressure relief valve is what it is but uh, anyway, we're going to get our water in there. Doesn't take very much. So we've got our water in there. Now I need to get my espresso. So that's in the refrigerator. Okay, I've got my espresso. Didn't get my ladle. My coffee scooper. And it specifically says not to compact this. I have watched people do that on their videos. Um, so I'm not going to compact it. I'm just going to level it off right here. Not quite completely full, but hey, that'll be strong enough for my coffee. Now I put that in there. And I can screw this back on top. And now I've got a lighter here. It works. So let's light the BRS. Get you down there where you can see it. Turn it on. Okay. The BRS is lit. Can you see that flame? Yeah, you can. 
Okay. So let's put our coffee maker on there and see if we can make some coffee. It fits on there perfectly. I mean, just absolutely perfectly. So, this is something I can take on my camping trips if I ever decide to take a camping trip. I haven't taken a solo camping trip ever in my life. Yes, I have. I took one when I was young and single. So, um, I went down to, uh, my dad had a pond out in the pasture and I had a van that I had converted and I spent the night out there. Didn't catch any fish unfortunately but I had a good time. And while I'm waiting for that to percolate I want to show you this other stove that I've got. This one, that's not part of it. This one is a no-name brand that I picked up off out of Amazon and um, Intense Angler was talking about it as compared. Anyway, the one he was comparing this one to didn't have an igniter built into it. If you can see that or not. Let's get it where we can maybe see a spark if I click it. Anyway, there's a spark igniter there, and um, he said he found this on Amazon for $11, so um, I thought, well, I'm going to go look, and I finally found it, and <laughs> it was kind of funny because this one was only $5.20. And it's the exact same one. So, um, yeah, I found a pretty good deal. It comes in its own case, as you can see. And, um, like I say, it's got an igniter. Which doesn't always work. And I can smell the gas. Ah, coffee's boiling. That didn't take very long at all. And like that. I have coffee. So, that's the BRS with the Primus gas. Uh, one thing I did find out is the BRS does not work on the Coleman. Why? I don't know, but it doesn't work. So, anyway, I'm uh, going to let that cool down a little bit. I do have a cigarette lighter here, so it doesn't take anything like this one. And it's every bit as good as the BRS. The only difference is the price. The BRS is titanium. This one's stainless steel. This is a no-name brand. Comes with its own carrying box. Uh, I prefer the hard box because I don't want to damage anything. But um, <coughs> the BRS was eleven dollars, and this one was five dollars and twenty cents. So uh, when I saw how inexpensive this was. I went ahead and ordered four of them, and uh, I've given them pretty much all away at this time. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, it works. I've, I've actually made uh, lunches on this stove, and I've made lunches on the BRS. So, let's show another little item that I picked up. The Cooksa. I don't remember what I paid for this. I do know it came off of Amazon. Uh, there are several different designs. I went with a simpler, less expensive one. Simply because I'm cheap. 
I'm tight, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's pour off some espresso and see how it tastes. Look at that. Almost a perfectly full cup. I got a lot of glare here, don't I? Let's cut out some of the glare. Almost a perfect cup of espresso. It's high enough for me. I don't need to spill it. Ooh, that tastes good already. I haven't even sipped it. Very good. Very good cup of espresso. And uh, the espresso I use is um, comes from the big box store. It's, it's made in Mexico. Um, and I showed it on a video where I was making a percolator out of it. So I've got a percolator that I can use on the BRS or on the No Name brand. Uh, both are both of these stoves are fantastic. I love them. They're they're just right. And like I say, I've used both of these on the job to make lunch to heat up a. The Mountain House Meals. Here, let me turn that around so you can see the Mountain House Meals. So, anyway, this is Greg. You've been watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it was informative. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Uh, share this video with your friends. Let them see the two different stoves. Um, let them do their own comparison. Inexpensive. Very inexpensive stoves. And both work just great. Very packable. Very lightweight. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.